Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to inscribe six equal circles in a given hexagon of side 80 mm in such a way that each circle will touch one side of the hexagon and two other circles. So first we will draw a line of 80 mm. We'll do dimensioning. This is A, this is B. Then you take B to A and draw an arc. So basically you take side 80 and draw arc from B as well as from A. Like how we draw equilateral triangle that way. See B to A and A to B. Wherever it will intersect that is point O. Then take O to A and draw a circle. After that you take A to B. Take A to B in your compass and from B you cut on left side. From A you cut on right side. Sorry, from B you cut on right side, A you cut on left side. Then again you cut on left and right as shown in the figure. So this is C, D. It is same side. We take side AB. We cut on right side of B and left side of A. So we'll get respective points. So A, B, C, D, E, F, A. Join all these points, you will get hexagon. Now after drawing this hexagon, we'll divide this into six equal parts. By joining diagonal, see this, we'll join A to D, B to E, and C to F. So if you see, we got six triangles. Now we'll take midpoint of all the sides and we'll join to the opposite point or O. We can join to O. Let's say this is G. Then half of BC. That is H. Half of CD. That is J, J to O. So that way you can mark midpoint of all the sides. This is K. This is L. Join O to L. This is M. Join O to M. Now see this. O A B, O B C, O C D, O D E. OEF, OFA, six triangles we got. Now we need to draw six circles inside all these triangles. So we'll bisect angle OAB. This is one and two. So when you bisect this, this would be somewhere around 30 because the angle is 60, right? OAB. This is point P. Then you take P to G and draw a circle, which will touch one side AB in the triangle. See this. After that, take O to P and draw a circle. See, take O to P. So why we are transferring this? So we'll get the required other points. So then it is easier to draw. We don't have to bisect each and every angle. So we are transferring point OP. So we'll get Q. On this line we'll get R, S, T and U. So take angle, sorry, take this radius P to G. And you cut from Q, R, S, T, U. 
so you'll get the required circles in a hexagon thank you